a man besotted by his batch. In the Spa supermarket on Merrion Row, opposite O'Donoghue's public house, when I presented my basket at the checkout, to my dismay it was taken not by one of the many Polish girls manning the checkouts, but by a short, stocky, curly, red-headed male Dubliner screeching to himself, the Owl Triangle by Brendan Bean. <laughs> and the Owl Triangle, the Jingle Jangle, all along the banks of the Royal Canal. He was all bonhomie, but not excessively. He commented on my every item. <laughs> but when I handed him my batch loaf of bread, he seized up, swooned, swayed, roared. Jesus! He exploded. A batch! He continued as if performing an aria in the Messiah. When I was in Australia, and don't get me wrong, I loved it in Australia. Every double in a man I should spend time in Australia. But the one thing I missed was my batch. After seven years in Perth, Jesus, you should see the women in Perth. When I came home to Dublin, the first thing I did was to go out and buy myself a batch. And I came back with my batch, and I smeared two slices with dollops of butter, and I made one gorgeous ham sandwich. <laughs> the women of Perth, oh Jesus, forgive me. But there's nothing, not even a Perth woman, to beat a batch. Thank you, sir. Have a good day.